Hi guys, I'm Smita. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things machine learning and AI related. In today's video, I want to talk about Tesla vision and what exactly is it and how does Tesla make use of neural networks in its cars? So let's get into it. Tesla vision is a type of computer vision that Tesla has developed by making use of deep neural networks and very advanced deep neural networks, which actually requires uh, supercomputers in order to actually train these deep neural networks. Now a bit about supercomputers later on in the video, but what exactly is the reason behind Tesla vision? So essentially Tesla actually wants to get rid of LiDAR and also radar sensors on its cars and depend exclusively on high definition cameras, which are already on its cars. So it actually wants to make use of only computer vision technology instead of LiDAR and radar. And the reason being is because of this tweet, which Elon Musk actually tweeted. He says that sensors are a bit stream and cameras have several orders of magnitudes, more bits per second than radar or even LiDAR. Radar must meaningfully increase signal or noise of bitstream to be worth the complexity of integrating it. As vision processing gets better, it just leaves radar far behind. Additionally, one of the biggest downsides of making use of radar and LiDAR technology is that they need extremely high definition maps of rows of uh, traffic lights of road connections and all of these type of maps which is not exactly feasible and these type of maps are only available in extremely developed countries with developed infrastructure. So what happens to the rest of the developing world which is a large proportion of the world's population and Tesla actually wants to deploy its cars in these type of countries as well, where there's not exactly high definition maps. So that's definitely such a huge disadvantage when uh, Tesla is trying to make use of technologies like LiDAR and radar. And that's the main reason why Tesla is actually shifting fully into computer vision and also making use of deep neural networks in order to do so. So how exactly does Tesla vision work? Now, in order to further talk about this, we have to acknowledge Tesla supercomputer, which Tesla has been working on for a long time. And Tesla supercomputer is extremely important in this aspect because this supercomputer actually gets and collects the data from all of those eight cameras which surround a Tesla car and it is getting that at about 36 frames per second. So that's a tremendous amount of information and what it does it is has to collect all of this data and also process it at the speed at which a human would be making decisions. So a car has to be able to make the same amount of decisions at the same amount of time as a human would. So that's exactly why a supercomputer is extremely important here and once it actually collects all of this data, all of this uh, video and images, what it does is actually feeds it into the deep neural network. And the deep neural network actually enables the Tesla car to actually make a decision depending on the situation. This supercomputer has also enabled Tesla to actually train a really advanced deep neural network for computer vision purposes. So it is able to actually, Tesla has actually accumulated 1 million videos of around 10 seconds each and it has also labeled 6 billion objects with depth, velocity, and acceleration. So all of this takes up 1.5 petabytes of storage, and that's a, that's a massive amount of data for this neural network to actually be trained on. And in fact, they are expecting this amount of data to actually be much larger in order to achieve the type of accuracy and the type of autonomy that they are hoping for. So what exactly does all of this mean? Well, the main thing is that computer vision is really the future of Tesla and it is highly dependent on this type of machine learning technology. So Tesla has high hopes for computer vision and the type of computer vision that it is developing for its cars. And in order to do that, it definitely needs a lot of talent, especially within its machine learning teams, its computer vision teams, and also its engineering teams. So that's where you guys come in. We often talk a lot about machine learning on this channel, and of course, different types of machine learning roles and what type of future jobs that we can expect within machine learning. And hence, computer vision is a really large aspect of this. 
because not only uh, has Tesla actually shifted fully into computer vision and making use of machine learning for its cars, but we can definitely expect a lot of other car manufacturers, especially when it comes to self-driving cars, they're definitely going to be leaving behind LiDAR and radar and moving fully into computer vision. So if you are someone who is learning machine learning and you're hoping to be working in these type of roles in the future, I think computer vision is definitely something that you guys should focus on. In fact, a lot of machine learning courses that you guys take will definitely cover computer vision, but probably not in the depth that you would want. So definitely do your own research as well and maybe take courses which are very specific to computer vision. Let's go ahead and take a look at some courses specifically for computer vision. The first one that I want to talk about is called Advanced Computer Vision with TensorFlow and this is taught by Lawrence Moroni who is a really popular instructor on Coursera and he has taught a lot of different machine learning courses already so he's really well known. And in this course, you get to explore image classification, image segmentation, object localization, and object detection. Also, you get to learn things like transfer learning, and also you get to play around with different object detection models, such as regional CNN and ResNet50, as well as building your own models to detect, localize, and label images. The great thing is that you also get to experiment with well-known models within computer vision. For example, Mask RCNN, which is a convolutional neural network, and that's really well known. So you guys get to have some sort of uh, experience with that. The next course is called Self-Driving Car Specialization by the University of Toronto. And this is very specific to what I've been talking about in this entire video, because this is very much related to only self-driving cars and how computer vision is going to be applied in that. There are four different courses in this specialization, so you guys can go and take a look at that. The first one is just an introduction to self-driving cars. The second is state estimation and localization for self-driving cars. The third course is called Visual Perception for Self-Driving Cars and the fourth is called Motion Planning for Self-Driving Cars. So this is a pretty in-depth course specifically on how different computer vision models and different you know, machine learning models, deep learning models such as convolutional neural networks, those are being actually applied to image detection, object detection, uh, especially when it comes to self-driving cars. The last course which I want to talk about is called Image and Video Processing from Mars to Hollywood with a Stop at the Hospital by Duke University. In this course, you will get to learn basic algorithms used for adjusting images and how to encode and compress video images as well as image segmentation, noise removal and filtering, and also some different image processing techniques. I think this is a very useful course and I think this course actually goes really well hand in hand with the other course that I've mentioned. So this is also something that you guys could look at. And the great thing about making use of computer vision fully and getting rid of LiDAR and radar is that it allows Tesla to move from developed countries into the developing countries as well. Where, as I said before, there's not a lot of very high definition maps available. But now because of making use of computer vision, making use of these deep neural networks technology, Tesla is actually able to deploy its cars in places like Asia, in places like Africa as well. So this also means that a lot of other car companies which are also manufacturing self-driving cars, they are definitely going to be adopting this type of shift as well and shifting fully into computer vision and also making use of neural networks and building their own neural networks in order to do so. So the huge advantage here is that we can definitely expect to see a lot more self-driving cars in the developing world because there's no need to use radar and LiDAR anymore. So we can definitely expect to see that. And with that being said, we can definitely expect to see a lot of startups and also even Tesla, a giant like Tesla actually set up within these developing countries like India and also countries in Africa as well. With that being said, let me know what you guys thought about all of this news in the comment section below. And what do you guys think about computer vision in the field of machine learning? Let me know if you guys are also planning on learning 
or even making projects within computer vision. Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video.